Hello and welcome to a World of Warcraft video series guide to the Daily Garrison Quest, Mastering the Menagerie. Today is the final episode in the series, if you've been watching it in order of course. If not, you're a crazy person. And you should go watch it in order. Because it makes sense. It's chaotic if you don't, you know, and terrible. So says Deeb's Lord of Terror. In miniature. He's one of the three opponents we'll be facing today. In the last episode, episode 14, we faced off against Hanos, Manos, and Fatos. They're a pretty fun trio to come up against, I have to say. Okay, Alright, and the other two opponents we'll be facing are Thierry. Arc Pet of Justice <laughs> and Puzzle Treasure Pet Goblin Thing So yeah, these three pets are what is, I don't know what you'd say, reference, cameo type of thing They're a call out to the Diablo series from that Blizzard also works on Pets I've chosen for the first attempt are not what I would, had originally gone with. I was going to use Dark Whelpling, Pygmy Direhorn, and a third. However, after playing against these on other characters and figuring out uh, the, their abilities and a strategy, I've come up with something better. First, I'm going to use Spawn of Onyxia. All I'm going to need is Tail Sweep deals damage and extra damage if the user strikes last and with 244 speed that is pretty much a guarantee you can find spawn of onyxia right around the onyxia's lair raid instance in dust Wallow marsh so let me see i'd say starting around the two o'clock position all the way around the back towards the mountains and up here. So there you go. Anixia's spawn of Anixia. Next one I've chosen is Force Spiderling. Now you can choose any spider really. Spider. Spider. Because what you want is an attack like brittle webbing. It uh, applies a debuff on your opponent which causes them to take damage each time they hit you. So yeah, I'm going to use all three of these abilities. Uh, but if you only want to use two, you could use Strike and Brittle Webbing. Third ability is Leech Life, which deals extra damage against humanoids, which goes for Siri and Puzzle. Deeps is a magical type pet. Oh, however, Puzzle has only one offensive ability and it's magic type. So that's why I chose Dark Moon Zeppelin. He takes less damage from magic abilities. And he's also got... Uh, well, I might not need Dark Moon Zeppelin, usually. And in the case that I do need him, I'm going to use Decoy to block two attacks. Uh, bombing Run is really an optional thing here. But mainly I'm just going to spam a missile. You can get this from the Dark Moon Fair, obviously. And if fair's not in town, you can check the auction house. Okay, let's get started. What the heck? Wake up! I'm gonna kick your butt. Alright, Deebs. His main attack, I'd say, is weakness. He's gonna use this every other turn. It reduces your speed and damage done for one round. And he is a rather fast pet with a speed of 292 so he's usually going to go first and weakness is going to have a 100% uptime unless you are faster than he is and in between weakness he's going to either use blast of hatred magical attack and, or bone prison and undead attack which prevents swapping so to counter this I'm using uh, Spawn of Anixia Tail Sweep, a dragon type attack which deals extra damage against 
magic pets, like Deebs. So, and if I go second, which I will, it deals extra damage. That should pretty much negate the weakness debuff. Oh, and if I was going faster, weakness reducing my speed would help that, allowing me to go second and letting Tail Sweep deal more damage. So first he starts off with weakness, Tail Sweep, and what's this? That was Blast of Hatred. Tail Sweep again, weakness, see every other turn. He's very predictable. Blast of Hatred. Now on some rounds I've gotten nothing but Bone Prison. On some rounds I've gotten Blast of Hatred and Bone Prison. It's really random, I guess. Now Tiri's next to come out. He's gonna wipe out Spawn of Anixia immediately with Call of Darkness. It deals like 700 something damage against dragons. Oh yeah, one thing about Deebs before I continue, he's got really, really low health. Oh, it doesn't show in the journal. But here, you can see, he's got 1,237. That's really low for a 25. So, that should also help with dealing less damage from him spamming weakness on you. You won't have to deal with it for very long. Now, I could do anything here, but it won't matter, since Tyrion goes first, and he's going to kill Spawn of Anixia. Bye-bye. Good thing about this, it's got a 5 round cooldown and he won't be able to use it on my next pet. And it's probably his hardest hitting attack. Uh, his next ability is going to be Surge of Light. He will always do Call of Darkness followed by Surge of Light. Why? Because Surge of Light has a 25% chance to stun, but during darkness, caused by Call of Darkness, it's a 100% chance to stun. But lucky me, since he's 276 and I'm 305 speed, I can get a free turn in before he stuns me. Now, anything else to add here? Let me see. It's a, oh, all his attacks are humanoid. They do less damage against beasts. So, any beast really might do the trick here. But if you've chosen a spider here like I have, go ahead and start with Brittle Webbing. There you go, I'm stunned. I can't do anything, so I'll pass. Now he's got three rounds until Surge of Light is up again. So he's going to use Omni Slash for those three rounds. It deals four small attacks for a total amount of damage across your team. I think it's random which targets he hits. So I'm going to pass, and he's going to hit me four times, and take damage, 80, 81 damage each time those attacks hit. So for this round, he's, well, if those attacks hit, because accuracy is reduced because of his darkness, uh, I'll just show you here. One, two, three, four. He took 81 damage four times, 320 damage, and I didn't have to do a thing. I was stunned the whole time. And since he's got two rounds of just Omni Slash, his only ability, he's going to take, well, over 600 damage. And I can do whatever I want, really. I think I'll leech life. keep myself up and deal a bit of extra damage to him. Now I think Strike might do the job here, and if it doesn't, he's going to kill himself with Omni Slash and Brittle Webbing. Oh yeah, if he does last the next round, uh, he will cast Surge of Light, even though you've got the Resilience uh, buff still up. This is a buff that comes up after you've been stunned or put to sleep or something. It basically prevents uh, any of those things happening for a few rounds. Here, I'll pass, pass just to show you. Omni Slash. 
intense surge of light. Whoops. <laughs> well, so much for that. So yeah, he would cast surge of light, wasting his chance to stun me once more. And in that case, I would just finish him off with strike or something. Now, puzzle. He's the last opponent. Humanoid with coin toss, dodge, and portal. He's gonna start his yeah, he's going to start his round with dodge, and he's going to try and use dodge every time it's up. It's a pretty much a invincibility for one turn. He is a fast pet though. If you've got something faster than him, you can get a free hit in. And the only other thing he's going to do is coin toss. It's a magic type attack which also applies a debuff onto its target. Your pet. Your pet is going to deal 25% more damage, but take 50% more damage. That's why I picked a machine, really. Machines typically have strong attacks, so coin toss debuff would help that. And you would take less damage anyways being a machine against the magic type of coin toss. I'm just going to leave Forced Spiderling out for this. I don't think I'll use Dark Moon Zeppelin. So first round he's going to use Dodge. There you go. It's got a three round cooldown I believe. Four rounds. So he's going to cast Coin Toss four times and Dodge once it's back up. Well, this is the first round. I can't do anything. Round two, coin toss. Three. And this is the last one. Now, the thing to look out for here, once puzzle is taken below 25% health, I'd ha I actually had to watch for this and figure out when it happened. When he's taken below 25% health, he's going to use Portal. This move always goes first. And he dodges, well it's pretty much the same thing as dodge. Except it has a longer cooldown. The only benefit really is that uh, the user goes first. Oh yeah, but since he's the last pet, the other effect of it doesn't do anything. It would allow him to swap with his highest pet highest health teammate. So no matter what I do this round, he's going to use portal. Watch, I'll just try strike. There you go, I miss. And since dodge is back up, he's going to use that this turn. I could finish him off here, but I'll just show you. There you go, how predictable he is. Now dodge is up, I can't hit him. I'll just let him coin toss. And now, I'll finish him off. Very easy once you know just how their attack patterns work. What are you laughing at, Humrek? Yeah, I've got to quit the uh, crowd here. Naturally, I'm going to choose a different lineup. Instead of picking a different set of pets, I'm going to choose a special lineup of my own. I'll be right back shortly.